warm greeting to all uh, this session uh, we are going to start a new unit uh, unit 5 bearings so we are going to see introduction to bearings so what is bearings uh, what is the purpose of bearing we are going to see here a yeah, bearing is a machine element which supports another moving machine element known as journal so it permits a relative motion between the contact surface of the member while carrying the load uh, due to the relative motion between the contact surfaces a certain amount of power is wasted in overcoming frictional resistance and it is rubbing surface or in direct contact there will be a rapid wear so the purpose of bearing is to uh, permits a relative motion between the contact surfaces so we can easily move a, a load from one place to another place with the help of uh, um, bearing to reduce frictional resistance and wear and in some cases to carry away the heat, heat generated a layer of fluid known as lubricant may be provided so during this uh, a movement of uh, bearing so we are applying a, a lubricant so the lubricant used to separate the journal and the bearing is usually a minerals mineral oil refined from petroleum but vegetable oils silicon oils greases etc may be used as a lubricant so here you can see the best example of uh, uh, bearing so friction so the friction is a resistance to movement it opposes a sliding it as exists a rotation so here sliding uh, the object is direct contact with the surface so we need uh, more force to move the object from one place to another place but in case of uh, rotation so the roller is uh, placed between object and the surface so you can easily move the object from one place to another place with less force so this is a friction uh, between the object and uh, uh, surface so here bearing loads so we will have a we are going to discuss two bearing in uh, sorry two loads in bearings so one is uh, thrust load another one is a radial load the radial load is acting perpendicular to the axis and thrust load is acting along the axis so these two forces we are going to discuss uh, while solving the problem so the bearing is uh, is used to rotate the object but characteristics point load and uh, line contact so in a point load less area of contact less friction more speed uh, less load in uh, line contact more area of contact more friction less speed more load then applications of uh, bearings so crankshaft bearing in petrol and diesel engine you can see the crankshaft and uh, how we are using uh, bearings so turbines centrifugal pumps rope conveyors uh, large electric motors see the rotation motion wherever we will have a rota rotary motion so in that place we are using uh, bearings so the either side of the motor we can use uh, bearings and others other applications uh, electric tools then electrical machines household appliances automobiles motorcycles roller uh, skates sliding doors fitness equipment and 3d printer and uh, the applications of industries uh, textile industries handing and uh, packaging electronics and semiconductors turbo machinery metrology uh, machine tools and medical devices and food industries so these are the various uh, 
applications uh, where we are using uh, bearings so this is about uh, introduction about bearings so in next session we are going to discuss uh, so what are the types of bearings are there how they are uh, using in uh, different applications thank you